A few months back, we shared a video on how to enable Twitch chat with Beat Saber using the enhanced stream chat mod. That's this window right up here that lets you see the, the Twitch chat while you're playing the game. But there's a problem. When Beat Saber updates, this, like many other mods, have a tendency to break. And until they're fixed, you're left without a way to communicate. That's why me and Ani have been looking for an alternative. We found one, and today we're going to share that with you. All right, let's jump into this. So what is the Live Streamer Kit? In its simplest form, the Live Streamer Kit is a little window that shows your Twitch chat, and it's attached right to the back of your left controller. Now, there are a few settings that you can tweak this, but it gives you the ability that even if you do not have the enhanced stream chat, you can still quickly jump in and continue the conversation. So let me show you where you can get this and where you can get started, and then we'll jump into the settings and dive a little bit deeper. You can get the Live Streamer Kit by heading over to Live's website at live.tv. Click on their download section, and then on their, the Live app, click on Get It On Steam. Now this is the same app that we use to film Beat Saber in mixed reality just like this, but it has the additional feature with the streamer kit. So to get started, go ahead and install Live. If you click on the free button right here, it will go ahead and launch over into Steam and let you install the app. When you launch Live, you'll see a window similar to this. And to get to the streamer kit, we want to click on this icon up here. Looks like a little chat window. The live streamer kit window will open up, and this lets us modify what we'll be able to see. Once the streamer kit's open, you'll be able to immediately see it connected to your hand. You'll have it right here, and it's good to go. Let's dig into the settings and see how we can modify this. So under the chat menu, this gives us the ability to enable the chat and modify the colors to be able to adjust as, as we want it to look. You can even enable or change the alerts. and services. So from here, let's look into follower mode. And right now we've got it following the left hand. So I turn the left hand over to the back side. I can see the chat window back here. I can also move it over to the right hand if I'd prefer to do that. If we want to use head tracking, we need to change behavior to head follow. And then <laughs> it's right it's right above me now. So this is what it looks like when I'm when it's on head follow. So it's right above me and then if I'm turning around it follows with me kind of where I'm going. Kind of similar to the enhanced stream chat. I want to bring the angle down just a little bit if I can. Let's see about 40 degrees. We'll adjust opacity. Well that works. So messages, mentions, and alerts. But how do I switch between messages, mentions, and, mentions, and alerts? I mean, this is great because it shows me an icon of how many people are, are, are watching the stream. Maybe in the settings I can get in there and tweak it a little bit. Uh, head follower, the dead area is how far your head needs to turn before the chat follows you. Oh, then let's bring that down because I want it to be a little bit more sticky. So I brought it down to 30% and it's staying with me pretty well. It seems like it is, when I'm not paying attention to it, it's see-through. But when I look up at it, it comes back into view. That's real handy because if you're in the game, you don't want to be, you don't want to miss a thing. All right, for kicks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a chat message here. hey -o! And now I can see it right here in the chat. We're still working with it, still trying to get some of the kinks out of it and figure out how... How, how it's going to play in to our uh, communication here. We've been using it as a um, hand tracking, but I'm really interested to start using it as uh, tied with head tracking so I can take it with me as I'm going. Currently, the Live Streamer Kit only supports Twitch. However, they do mention on their help page that they're looking to implement support for other streaming services like uh, YouTube or Facebook gaming. So that's it. Check it out and let us know what you think in the comments below. And if there's another mod or something else you're using for Twitch chat in virtual reality, let us know. We'd love to check it out too. 
Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button if this video helped out. We'll see y'all in the next one. I'm getting back to some Beat Saver.